Welcome back. We are here looking at the commodities market and the precious metals market. This is going to be my daily forecast for Wednesday, May 5th, 2021. If you like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner. Hit the like button and the bell button to see our new videos. And you're welcome to join us over on Patreon. The link is down below. So we'll start by looking at the US dollar index. And as you can see, we have rallied significantly. We are testing the middle of the Bollinger Band um, and are finding resistance there. So that is actually interesting. So we did also found uh, test the 20 exponential uh, only um, three uh, two trading days ago, and then we basically broke it down. So if you look at technical indicators, they are all favoring the upside. MACD is crossing the signal line, stochastic is bullish, CCI is becoming bullish, and the RSI is also bullish. So if the 20 exponential breaks, then we head towards the 50, 200, and then top of the bullish band here at the 92. Of course, this will work against the, um, the stock market, for example, also uh, oil will most likely be affected if this continues to rise as prices uh, will increase. So let's look at oil. So US dollar increases, oil also increases, and that is uh, quite uh, the contrast. Usually it uh, um, there's a negative correlation between those, but um, demand for oil is out there and um, oil is basically rallying. We're trading at 60 5.6 at this current stage and uh, estimates are that we will most likely reach towards 67 and then to 70 but the pullbacks should be expected um before hitting the 70 70 should be basically the long term target here so rallies up towards the top of the bullish band where we are at the moment have basically been sold into middle of the bullish band has been holding and we are basically creating a fairly a nice channel here as you can see we are reaching the top here and then we have also uh, the bottom of the channel here and we are basically going up and down towards this channel so we could break towards the bottom and head slowly towards 70 so in the long run if this basically holds then we could head towards 70 uh, sometimes in mid midsummer if the 50 moving average breaks, then we could break, then we can head all the way down to the uh, bottom of the bullish band and these previous lows. Technically, the they are fairly bullish at this point. So let's look at natural gas. So natural gas continues. Uh, we did uh, breach $3 and then gain most of those gains back. But it looks like we are going to break above $3 and head towards um, $3 uh, 3.0612 that is basically the top of the bullish band and we also have the previous highs here at 3.0934 if you look at technical indicators they are all very bullish so there is room to the upside but we are on the edge of being overbought so just keep that in mind pullbacks from here will most likely find major support at 20 exponential moving average so let's look at the copper so copper continues. It is basically for all metals and uh, commodities and so on. Everything is basically rallying. Um, there is also the reason why everybody is also talking about inflation because if these uh, um, if these precious metals um, continue to increase in value, then um, then uh, production will also um, increase. Uh, the price will also increase, and therefore uh, prices for consumers will also increase and creating inflation so at this point um, we are testing uh, 4.529 and are finding uh, quite a lot of uh, resistance here there is a lot of room towards the top of the bullish band uh, but we are on the edge of being overbought so we could see this pull back towards the middle of the bullish band at the 4.27 uh, before going higher we have been in a massive uptrend for a really long time. This was a very parabolical move, so we're getting fairly overstretched and the pullback could be expected. So let's look at gold, which technically fell apart today. So yes, looked really good yesterday and today, bang. But we found support here at the 20 exponential. It is holding. And as long as that is the case, we could just stay here in, the, uh, in between the middle and the top of the bullish band. If you look at the technical indicators, they are either flat or becoming bearish at this point. So a break above here will uh, above 1800 could lead to 1850 and 1900, and uh, break below the 20 exponential could lead to towards the 
70 50 and that 50 moving average and yes it is it's technically a waiting game at the moment in order to see where gold is technically going so let's look at silver so silver as well hit the top of the bullish band and then bang all the way down to the bottom and then pulled back so yes this was a massive rally and it was always expected for this to basically pull back if you look at technical indicators they are basically favoring the downside except for the macd at this current stage stochastic is bearish the cci is becoming bearish and the rsi is as bearish as well break below the 50 there's a lot of basically support underneath here and uh, we have the top of the village band which has acted as resistant but 27 it's out of my video yesterday if you got towards 27 then we most likely pull back so let's look at platinum so platinum did go all the way top to the top of the bullet and then just completely collapsed at this point if you look at technical indicators they are either flat or or bullish at this point macd is flat stochastic is bullish cci is bullish and rsi is flat so yes this has basically been a ping pong it's been the top to the bottom top bottom and now the top and could expect to go back towards the bottom it is a gradual channel that most likely will head towards 1300 and so that is to be seen at this current stage whether or not we get to that point so we could see something similar to this occurring in this market where we are most likely going to see a lot of back and forward until we get to, towards that point which is the previous highs here so we'll see what or not what happens so let's go pallium so pallium did reach up towards uh, 3030 and then gave all of those gains back so this is not a very good uh, looking candlestick but not it was this one and we rallied after that so a pullback has been expected for to the middle of the bullish band where we have found or the 20 exponential where we found support in the past and this has been a fairly parabolical move we are overbought at this point and technically indicators they are still in bullish territory but they are turning around so momentum is slowing so a, a pullback could be expected at any point so let's look at aluminium Aluminium is uh, very similar here. We have been at the top of the bullish band now for a very long time. We are overbought and it is just a matter of time before this basically breaks to the downside. So also here, rally, broken down, rally, broke down, rally, and now expecting a pull, pull back at any point before continuing higher. We are in uptrend and uh, pullbacks have basically shown to be uh, buying opportunity. So 21st, if that breaks then the 50 right underneath technical indicators there are very bullish indeed so let's look at nickel so nickel did rally up towards 18,000 and gave most of those gains back creating this uh, shooting star basically and we could see this uh, pullback and this probably was a pullback that i've been anticipating we all have the crossing of the 20 and the 50 moving average and we'll certainly have a pullback towards the 20 and then continuing higher technical indicators are well they are in bullish territory but, but they are becoming flat at this point and this should be um, probably where this will pull back and if we find support here at the 20 exponential this could rally back to 18,000 19 and 20,000 so let's look at the sugar so sugar has uh, rallied from the 20 exponential and so the 20 exponential is most likely going to be the floor here and it looks like we're ready to go back towards 0 0.7050 technical indicators are all turning around and becoming bullish and uh, yes there's probably not more to say that we'll most likely find a major resistance up here as uh, 0 0.1793 so let's look at cotton so cotton um, continues to uh, find support down here at the 20 expansion moving average and uh, if you look at the indicators they are all pointing to uh, lower levels if the 50 moving average breaks then we could drop all the way down to the bottom here we'll most likely find the major support at 0 0.8 or the bottom here at 0 0.7859 rallied from here we'll most likely find major resistance at 0 0.9156 
So let's look at Kakoa. So Kakoa continues to fall. Um, yes, a terrible market to basically be in. It looks like we're going to rally and then it just takes off your head. So we are basically testing 2.3 to 0. If that breaks, then we could drop all the way down towards these previous lows at 2.233. And after that, all the way down towards 2.087. But this is a market that tomorrow could basically rally all the way back towards the top here. And, and there's a reason why I don't like to trade this market whatsoever. Technical indicators are very bearish indeed. So let's look at wheat. So wheat has, uh, is technically just um, trading uh, sideways and uh, looks like we're creating a flag pattern here and uh, usually when it trades sideways it will catch up with the 20 exponential that moves this way before continuing higher. Technical indicators there are fairly mixed. MACD is bullish, stochastic is bearish, CCI is uh, still bullish and the RSI is flat at this current stage. We will mostly find major support, uh, resistant area at 750, and uh, down here at the 20 exponential or the 700 will mostly be major support. So, hope you find this helpful. You're willing to support the channel by subscribing, hit the like button, develop and see your newest videos, and you're welcome to join us over at Patreon. The link is down below. Good luck and thank you very much.